Secure Ninja. Hey everyone, I'm Alicia Webb with Secure Ninja TV, and I'm here on the RSA show floor 2014 in San Francisco. I'm speaking with Stina Ahrensvard of Ubico. She is the founder and CEO. Stina, how are you today? I'm fine, thank you. Excellent, thank you for speaking with us. We are so excited to hear about the YubiKey, which is a two-factor authentication device. Um, what can you tell us about your YubiKey? So, this is actually how it looks. It's a little USB key that fits inside the USB port of your computer. And we have two form factors. It's this one, or it's this super small one. Okay. And, and it's very simple to use. You plug it into the USB port, and you combine it with a pin, and you tap the device, and you have logged in in a way that is easier and more secure than using a username and password or other authentication methods out there. What makes it so secure? Every time you use it, it, it generates a new encryption code, a new passcode that's only used once. It's never reused. Right. The problem with username and password today is that they're static. 30% of all passwords that are used today are actually, because it's from five, five similar passwords. And the most, used, the, the most common one is password. Right, right. <laughs> so, I mean, the problem with username and password is not only that they're not secure because they're static information, they can be easily copied and people reuse them, is actually, they, you can't manage them in your head. Right. So you want to have something that's easy and they can use on all websites. Right. So the standard YubiKey today that we've they've deployed more than a million of in 120 countries are used both for end users and from enterprises to as an additional security to username and password. Excellent. So even if someone did have your username and password, they couldn't you know, steal your identity no. online because they would physically have to have the key. They physically have to have it, and, it, and it, what it generates is encrypted passcode that cannot be copied, that cannot be remotely stolen. Right. Can you give me a demo of exactly how this works? Yeah, so there's one demo on the phone, which I think is quite cool. Okay. Um, Today, you can use the YubiKey with leading password managers. These are software or services that you can download for free, you can pay a small license fee for, and you can literally just, you can have a, the, the, the mobile version that we're using, you just tap the device you know, on, the, the on, the, on the back, okay. and then you've logged in. I oh, mean, it's, neat. It's, it's very simple. So, I'm just seeing. Put it out, out back. And you log in. And I'm here using a password manager called LastPass. So Very cool. um, you can also plug the same device into a computer. Um, and here I'm using a new project. This is a project that we have developed with leading cloud services and financial services that have joined into a new standard organization called Fido Alliance. Um, and the goal for FIDO Alliance is to make hardware devices, the various hardware devices, phones and computers and UB keys, right. to securely authenticate to as many services as possible. So the one key, one device to any number of services, I can log into my bank, to my Gmail account, to my government service, to my company, in one single device. Right. And, and this is the demo. I log in with a username and password, just like I do today. And there's no security in the password. The security is in the token. So you only have that simple pin or a password as an extra thing in case you lose your key. So in this case, I just have a super simple pin, and then I log in. And here, I have to touch the device. I put my finger on it, and it generates this encrypted passcode. I'm logged in. So there are other authentication methods where you have to, you know, pick up a, a device and, and retype a code. Right. You don't have to do this. 
just a simple pin and a touch. Nice, and what is the purpose of the touch? Uh, there are two purposes. One is to um, ensure, you know, generate the passcode, depending on the encryption backend, and one is actually to verify the users, that the real person there, mm -hmm. so there's no toys that can come out from the outside. Right. So it, 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 there are basically two different products that we have today. One is the YubiKey standard that's available today. You can use it with password managers. Um, it's very easy to integrate, but the big vision that we're working on with Fido Alliance is having that every service provider in the world makes support for this new encryption scheme. It's called Fido, and there are, there, there are two different standards. One is the um, Fido UAF, and one is Fido U2F, and the Fido U2F allows these hardware devices to access any number of services. So, uh, and eventually, I believe you're going to buy these on 7-Eleven or Safeway, like oh, a nice. prepaid phone card. Right, or USB <laughs> and, drive. Yeah, and, and you can tie it to your bank account, to your government account, and it's in control by the user. The user owns it. Right. And it's basically using smart card technology, but removing all the barriers. You don't have to download anything on your computer. There's no drivers, there's no client software needed, there's no readers. Uh, it's really a you know military grade security right. for consumers because it's so simple. Right. Uh, they just have to log into the page and, and enter a pin and touch the button. Wow. Um, now what what would what would happen if you lost your YubiKey? So you always combine it with a pin right. in case so no one just take it. And the best is actually to get two. Um, there are, we have two different form factors. This is one. It's something you can have in the computer. You plug it in and it stays there. And if you look here, it doesn't fall out. So it becomes an integral part of the computer. And so what we say to customers is that have one in your computer and one on your keychain, then right. you are, you know, in case you lose it, you always have a backup. Right. And if you lose both, every service provider have to have their own um, policies. Right. They may have a backup code, they may give you, you know, some kind of replacement um, that you can use temporary. Right. It's a similar process as if you lose your house, your key to your house or to your car okay. or a credit card. It's going to be painful, but it has to be painful. Right. Because a username and password today is so easy to get revoked. Right. It's too easy. You just, you know, you email and say I want a new one. And that the fraudster can do that too. So it shouldn't I mean something that has to be good security has also to be a little inconvenient to get replaced. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, now the one that plugs in here, how does yeah. that have the, how do you, how does that generate the physical Oh, touch? you actually can touch it on the side, so it's like a touch okay. button on the side. Okay, wow. Yeah. So here, this is how it looks without the, the string. You just you plug it in and you touch it. That's so cool. Yes. Um, are there similar devices like this on the market or how is the YubiKey different? Uh, so with this YubiKey standard, it's actually our proprietary technology, it, we are own invention. Um, the U2F standard that's now inside FIDO is going to be an open standard, so we will eventually see other uh, devices coming out in the market, but right now we're the first. Nice, and what inspired you originally to come up with the idea to create the YubiKey? I just wanted one key to all my services. I think we're just so fed up of having multiple passwords, um, and we I mean, I have my driver license and my, my, my credit cards and I can go everywhere with that. Mm -hmm. Why shouldn't I have my key to my internet? So, you know, key to my house, a key to my car, a key to my internet, that's, you know, the, the, the coolest vision I could imagine. And I also think that the internet is such a beautiful invention and it's really failing now because of security. You can't trust it. So, it's, I feel like almost like my mission to, to help it, yeah. <laughs> to be secure. Yeah, absolutely. It's like the in, you know the feeling of knowing that your house could get broken into at any time. That's not a good feeling. So anything we can do I to mean, make it better. I mean, there is a trillion dollar today lost due to online identity theft, and there is. I mean, we put everything on the internet. Right. Not just our you know the personal life, right. but we put our governments, our corporations, our banking. I mean, yeah. Um, and it. We put a latch on that door to the internet. The latch is a username and password. We wouldn't put a latch in our own house or, you know, it's so easily just, you just kick it in and then you're there. Right. Um, internet is, was never designed 
security. It was designed for sharing, uh, and now it's used in a, in a much more advanced way than what the early creators of the internet imagined. So we'll have to just fix it, because and if we don't, the internet's going to be in, in, in trouble. Right, absolutely. And we're going to be in trouble. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, it sounds like the YubiKey is something that every person and organization could use. So thank you for sharing the information about the YubiKey and the demo. I'm definitely going to have to get one of these things. Okay, thank you. Well, enjoy the rest of RSA. Thank you. Definitely. And thank you, everyone at home, for watching. Um, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, and we even have an Instagram account now. So subscribe to that so you don't miss any of the interviews we're doing here at RSA 2014. I'm Alicia Webb. Thank you so much for watching. Secure Ninja TV is brought to you by SecureNinja.com, a world leader in cybersecurity training and certification. Our master instructors will help build you into a highly skilled and marketable security professional. Secure Ninja, forging cybersecurity experts.